Hello, hello. Welcome back, everyone. I am coming with a makeup tutorial for you guys today, and it's going to be on this look that you see. I know it seems like a little, you know, crazy. It's a lot of colors and stuff going on, but trust me, it's not that bad. And um, I just wanted to warn you guys, I had to wash my hair, and it's going to be wet pretty much drying throughout the tutorial so I just wanted to warn you guys I know I'm gonna be looking a little crazy then but um, I just wanted to get a video out there today's my son's last day for the summer break and I just wanted to make a video without all of these interruptions and you know put something out there just in case you know I don't know how things are gonna work out if he's gonna allow me to record but um, with that being said if you want to see how I did this look, then stay tuned. All right, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say something real quick. It was kind of like a trial and error type of thing doing this look. I originally had red up in here above the crease, and for some reason it wasn't showing up as well as I would like it to. So I went ahead and added hot pink. Um, you guys don't have to do that. You can just go ahead and just add whichever color you would like, red or hot pink. I was trying to do red, but it just wasn't working out. So you guys can just go ahead and eliminate the step that I'm about to do. I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. So that way they both come out even. So, so far I have primed my eye with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I used um, the Milani Shadow Eyes Pencil in Royal Purple for a base. And I sketched out the crease that I wanted with this um, Perfect Liner Eyeliner Pencil. And this is from Amuse, and I got this off cherryculture.com. It's just a soft, creamy black pencil. And that's what I use, like I said, to sketch out the shape of the crease that I wanted to get. Next, I'm going to show you the two palettes that I use for most of the um, eyeshadows that you see. This one is the Perfect 22, and it's by Absolute. And this one's called Renaissance. And here's the back. It doesn't look like that's going to show up. Well, there we go. But um, I'm going to be using this purple at the top right here. And this hot pink color is what I'm going to use kind of like towards the end. And I'm going to show you another palette that I have. And this one is called Gypsy. And I am basically going to be using this red right here out of this palette. And this champagne color at the bottom. Okay, so right now I'm going to go ahead and grab the purple and put it on the entire lid where I have the purple already placed. Okay, now that I have that on, I'm actually going to grab my Inglot palette. And I'm going to use a matte black out of this palette. I'm going to hold it upside down. But I'm going to use this black right here on the corner, and it's AMC 63. And that's what I'm going to use to define the crease. I'm just going to get a small detail brush. And just apply that over this black pencil. Okay. 
And I'm going to go kind of like, um, it's going to be kind of sloppy over here, but don't worry about that because you can always clean it up with a white. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to worry about the, making this edge clean. I'm just going to place the color. Okay, so next I'm going to grab the red that I showed you. And this part is where I said um, can be optional. And that was just like I said because the red that I used wasn't showing up. So you can just go ahead and use a hot pink or you can try the red if you would like to. But I'm just going to do the red anyway because that's what I've already done to the other eye. And I just want to make sure they're uniform. So I'm just going to apply this red just above this black line. And just start blending it. I'm actually going to change my brush to a fluffier brush. And I'm just going to use a Coastal Sense fluffy brush. Now I'm going to grab a fluffy like eyeshadow shader brush and just get right in here on this harsh line and just try to pack as much red as I can. Then I'm going to go back with a small detail brush and apply the in black, black and just darken up this line Okay, so next I'm going to grab that champagne color for a highlight that I showed you. And I'm just going to drag it down. And because this is too shimmery up here, I'm going to apply a matte white on top of it just to tone down some of the shimmer. And I'm just going to use the matte white that's in this palette. And that's what I'm placing on top of that shimmery highlight color I just put down. Okay, so as you can see, the red is fading away. So next I'm going to go ahead and grab some hot pink. Sorry guys, stuff is falling off my table. And I'm going to use the hot pink right here. And I'm just going to go on top of the red that I put down.
Okay, so next I'm going to grab a Wet n Wild gel liner and just a small detail brush. And I'm going to apply some of that right on this crease just to darken it up. Have a piece of fuzz on it. Okay, so next I'm going to grab a white, and I'm just going to clean up this edge over here. And I clean up a little bit of this fallout underneath my eye. And next I'm going to apply some concealer. I'm going to use the MAC Studio Finish. Okay, you guys, I am back, and um, I just got done applying the concealer, and I cleaned up this edge, and as you can see, I also did an extra step. I figured I'd do it just to save a little time, but I applied a, um, a thick line right here of liquid liner, and I winged it out. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but next I'm going to grab my um, gel liner from Wet n Wild, and I'm going to go back and start to um, straighten out this crease and darken it at the same time. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of the gel liner. And I'm just going to start to sharpen up this edge. And I'm just checking to make sure it's similar to the other eye. Of course, they're not going to be exactly the same. And that's the same thing that goes for your eyebrows. You just want them to be sisters. They don't have to be twins. So that's what I'm going for. I'm just going to try to straighten up this line right here. I might have to get some concealer and fix that. I'm going to put a little bit more of that gel liner on and fix this inner corner. Okay, so I think they're pretty even. I'm going to grab my liquid liner and just fix up this edge right here.
Okay, so next I'm going to line my lower lash line with the Milani Shadow Eyes Pencil. And this is an aquatic style. It's a pretty blue. I'm just going to grab a sponge just so I can hold my eye and line it at the same time. I want this line to be fairly thick, so I'm not going to worry about, um, you know, cleaning it up with a Q-tip to thin it out. Next, I'm going to grab this Absolute palette again, and I'm going to use this pretty turquoise shade right here. That's what I'm going to apply over this pencil I just put down. I'm just going to grab a small detail brush. And just put that on top of the pencil. Okay, so next so I'm just going to use whatever's left from the gel liner and just apply a little bit to the lower lash line. Just darken it up right here a little bit. Okay, so I pretty much showed you everything you would need to know to do this eye or do your eyes like this. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and go off camera and set my foundation and figure out what kind of lip color I'm going to use and do something with my hair because it's still wet and I will be back. Okay, you guys, I am back and here's the finished look. I had to jazz myself up a little bit. But um, right now, I'm just going to give you a run through the items that I use off camera. I use the L'Oreal Hip. I have to wipe it off because I got a little bit of foundation on it. The L'Oreal Hip Foundation. And I am Sable 822. For setting my foundation, I use the MAC Studio Fix. And I am NW45. It looks like this. And on top of the MAC Studio Fix, I use the Black Radiance Press Powder. And this is Warm Hazel. And it looks like this. For cheeks, I didn't do any contouring. I just applied a cheek color. And I used the um, Milani Baked Blush, and it looks like this. It's a pretty purple pink shade, and it is called Fantastical Mauve. I know that might be a little bit hard to see. And for lips, I use this Clean Color Lipstick. It's called Cranberry Mix. It's a pretty red, and it has glitter in it. And I'm going to show you the number and the name. Doesn't look like it wants to focus, though. There we go. But um, I just don't care for the overall texture of this lipstick alone, so I applied a lip gloss on top of it because um, it has glitter in it, and I just don't like that gritty feel in my lipstick. So I used the Jordana lip gloss, and this is in Hugs and Kisses. 
and it's a bright red and that's what I layered on top of the lip color and for lashes I use the sevens by kiss and that is pretty much it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll be seeing you guys with another one soon take care and God bless